started up as a folk duo about three years ago. Uh, we'd be both been playing folk music before then. Uh, me, not so much as Neil. I was quite new to it. I had a classical background. Um, and then we discovered that clarinet and small pipes went really well together, so we focused a bit more on that. Um, well, I've, I've been teaching pipes, well, for about uh, full, full time, for about six years since I retired for the police. And uh, one of my pupils is, is John McLeod, and about eight m who lives in Stanley. Uh, about eight months ago, his mum said to me on Skype, is, uh, how would you like to come down to the Falklands? And I, I sort of thought, well, yeah, I would, but I'll, that'll never happen. But uh, she organised everything through the, the Shackleton Scholarship, and uh, here we are. Well, we had a trip out to West Falkland over the weekend, and uh, fantastic weather. Really enjoyed that. Played uh, in a couple of places at Port Howard and Fox Bay. Met some really interesting people and were made very welcome. It was really nice to see the children enthusiastic about what we were doing. Uh, some of them I don't think had seen bagpipes before, so that was a bit of a shock, uh, but they enjoyed that. We were able to play in front of the school assembly here, uh, the community school on Monday. Uh, that was probably the biggest crowd we've had since we arrived. Um, and we've been running music workshops uh, since Monday evening. Catherine's got a clarinet and guitar people. Uh, personally, I've got the two existing pipers in, in the island, Hamish and John first. Two brothers who are younger, they've, they've just started. And then we have around about 10 adults who were teaching in a winner. And they're doing very well, actually, the whole lot of them. They've done two 45-minute slots, which is an hour and a half in total, and they're actually on their first tune. Now, that can take people from six months up to a year to achieve, so they're, they're, they're doing all right. It's, it's quite phenomenal. And we, we, we do things like, well, I was up Tumbledown Mountain uh, two nights ago. Uh, I, I was in the Scots, St. Battalion Scots Guards, but I was only 17 when the rest of the guys came down. So it was, it was really quite something actually getting to come down here at last, especially when it's nice weather and there was no one shooting at me. So that was, that was pretty fantastic and it was quite, uh, quite poignant as well. I, I think one of the biggest things for me is how important live music is and the effect it has on people, on their psyche, on their you know, well-being. And although I knew a little bit about that before, I've really seen it here that we, we take that for granted. We take live music for granted. Um, but for people who don't get that opportunity to hear it often, it's, it's a really special thing. And I just feel completely privileged uh, to have been able to share what we do with the people of the Falkland Islands. I, 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 I'm not really thinking about what I'll take back. It's more what we can sort of keep going. Uh, certainly the two boys will be keeping going through lessons with me but I would hope it's great that the adults and the, and the two younger kids got a shot at piping but if we can somehow manage to keep that going that'd be great and just, just keep, the, keep the connections going.